Hey guys, it's AZ here. Uh, you got me playing Black Ops 2 in the background on Plaza, and it's I'm playing Team Deathmatch. I end up going 29 and 3 at the end of the match. As you might have heard, Google announced a streaming device called the Chromecast for only $35. It allows you to stream content from places like YouTube and Netflix wirelessly to your HDTV from your mobile device or Chrome browser. Um, it's basically Apple or sorry it's basically Google's response to Apple's Apple TV which cost a hundred dollars uh, the Chromecast was just announced earlier this week and it's it sold like hotcakes it's basically sold out everywhere right now um, but in this video I want to talk about an alternative to the Chromecast and of course there are other devices out there like the Roku and Apple TV which which are standalone streaming players that allow you to stream from places like Netflix and Hulu. Uh, but I want to talk about a fairly new technology that you might not have known about, and it's called Miracast. Um, so Miracast was developed by the Wi-Fi Alliance, and what Miracast allows you to do is it allows um, Miracast-enabled devices to mirror content onto an HD. HDTV um, pretty much like Apple's AirPlay mirroring. Um, uh, this was shown off at CES earlier this year, but you won't find too many Miracast dongles available right now, or at least not many <coughs> for under $50. Um, currently, you can find Miracast on all Android 4.2 or higher devices. Uh, you'll also find them on some Android 4.1 devices. They might not be under um, the name Miracast. So, like, I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and it uses the name All Sharecast. Um, but Microsoft also announced recently that they're going to support Miracast um, in Windows 8.1. So, if you have an Android device or Windows 8, uh, Miracast will, should be a good alternative. Uh, to devices like the Chromecast or the Roku. Um, at my work, we're actually making one of these Miracast dongles, and I've tested it on my Note 2, and it works pretty well, and there's very little lag between the devices. You don't even have to have an internet connection to pair the devices. If you think about it, as long as you can mirror your device, you can pretty much do anything, uh, like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Instant, uh, as long as you can get it playing on your phone or tablet um, or Windows 8 system, you can get it wirelessly to an HDTV. And an added benefit would be that you're not only limited to those type of streaming devices or streaming services, um, but you can do anything on your connected device like play a game or run any, any app basically and, and beam it to your HDTV. Um, one bad thing about it would be like you wouldn't be able to use your device um, if you're streaming something. Um, you can't use it for anything else. And it would constantly use the battery if you're using it on your phone or your tablet. But I, I feel like most people are going to be using it for like streaming service, streaming media or something like that. So if you're just chilling at home on Netflix or something, I'm pretty sure you can just charge it at the same time. I don't think that's really going to be an issue. Um, Miracast is still pretty new, um, but I think in a few months we'll see more and more dongles become available, um, and I think the price will go down too, uh, to be competitive with the Chromecast. But for now, good luck with getting your hands on a Chromecast. Uh, for myself, um, being an Android smartphone user and a Windows 8 PC user, it could be useful to me, um, but the price would definitely have to be um, like forty dollars or less. So let me know what you guys think about Miracast. Is is it an attractive feature, or did the Chromecast just kill its hope and dreams at thirty-five dollars? Um, on a side note, I want to note that registration for CES 2014 just opened up. I went this last January with my work. It was pretty cool. It was my first CES, and hopefully I'll be able to go again this year or this January. Last year it was all about 4K displays. I'm looking forward to what's going to be shown off this coming January. 
I imagine probably more 4K displays. Probably Sony and Microsoft will be showing off the PS4 and Xbox One because they'll still be fairly new. But I don't know. I don't know how big they'll be in CES, but um, who knows what other kind of small gems will make a big splash. Last year it was MakerBot with their 3D printers. Uh, but this year, hopefully I'll be able to go again. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to get to some cool videos for you guys. Uh, so you guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.